Hmm? This is good. You like it? I'm calm. So yeah, I've made um so that's a much harder ride, much longer ride, five hours, got like three thirty minute if it's gonna be a tough day. Um change of rhythm on the climbs, things like that, so it's gonna be a very, very long day. I've already made a three twenty, I've had my bowler oats and um some muesli on top of it, a little bit of apples, some maple syrup to sweeten up, add some some more stuff in there. And then I've made the 320 mix that I told you was like 80 grams of carbs in a bottle. And then um, I'm going to be taking the gels with me, two gels, and then a 160 mix of this halfway through when I go to one of those little fountains, you know, when I say no dope like free dope, I'll fill it up and then uh, make a mix as well. So I've got this mix with me. And then I've got uh, two Spanish tortillas and... Um, I'll be having that as well, and then I will probably be stop as well along the way. Maybe get some Harry bows or something for like the the way up when you start getting a little bit deficient and uh, starting to run low. But yeah, and I'll probably buy an Aquarius and like a drink like that as well. So it's not only just water today; it's going to be like really fueling, trying to get like probably eighty grams of carbs an hour, you know, that kind of thing. So it'll be a big day. Looking forward to it, and um, showing you guys around again. <laughs> of Calder Rabasa, 17.4 k's long, pretty steady, steady climb. I'm on my second effort of the day, second half an hour effort. Uh, first eight minutes at 65 RPM, like 350 watts, then turn it down to 10 or no, 12 minutes, real high cadence for 12 minutes, and then 10 minutes at again uh, 85 RPM and back in that uh, 350 watts zone. Yeah, so been feeling well, gonna have my second Spanish tortilla for the day and I'm gonna have that and then I'm gonna go down the hill fill up with a nice font you know use the mix from the from Orton the sachet I brought with me remember that and I've still been um, eating some other stuff as well so um, had a gel ready we'll have the second gel on the way down so when I do my last effort I'm well filled and ready to go for the, the last effort probably do the same climb again just because it's got a nice flat pit, nice little flat pit in the middle there where I can get that high cadence. So use this climb again and then I'll make my way back up to 2,100 meters where I'm staying in Borders in Vadera. Guys, Becca. One more thing, the views. Look at this place. Hey. So, here we are. <coughs> Don't drink too fast. <laughs> Shit. Oh, guys. That'd be a good one to catch, eh? Oh. <coughs> Hallelujah. So. Here you go, my sachet. The way you mix Morton is you got to mix half a bottle first with water, and then you got to. Well, some of these mixes, you know, most of these mixes you can do like this. She just mixes easier, you know. Anyway, to mix it. Oops, she's still got stuff coming out my nose. 
Should I do that dance again? Um, actually, a tip for you guys while I'm doing this is it's pretty easy just to, um, you know, just get like a little Ziploc bag or something if you don't have a sachets or anything. Chuck some drink mix in, uh, in Ziploc bags and then bring them on the ride with you. And then if you have to stop like me, you know, following car today or anything like that, you can still improvise a little bit, improvise, you know. So, a little tip for you guys. I'm going to do my last effort now, another half an hour, it's going to get really hot now. But I'm looking forward to it, I keep saying I'm looking forward to it, but I actually am. Numbers are pretty decent today, so I'm happy. Let's do this. Jeez, straight out the nose. Essentially done those three efforts now. Now I'm just going to cruise home. Uh, I should do have a problem with my brakes today. They are rubbing. Bad maintenance. I'm three hours 20 in now. So it's like a 25k climb home. So we'll see how we go. Talk you through it here quickly. I'm gonna have a little, little snack here. Um, 30, uh, 30 minutes each effort uh, started off, didn't, didn't go too badly, but um, so like 3.45, the next one is also 3.45, then the last one is 3.24. I think I started to dehydrate a little bit, not have enough liquids, and then all those things. So it just shows you also the effort was done higher, you know, up here and up the top of Calder Robasa. So you can expect things to taper off a little bit, but all in all, job's done for the day. Like I said, I'm going to ease up on the way up here, stop and have a little Aquarius and maybe some Harry bows. get me home. And that'll be it guys, that's a five hour ride, you know, still topping up, still making sure you're eating up, you know, if you do feel that you need some more food, more fueling, of course, um, you know, okay, I'll take some Harry bows with me as well, so, you know, but I'll make sure I get try and get like 70 to 90 grams of carbs an hour today, because it's such a quite a strenuous ride and it's the first day of the, the next block so back here get some sharks lost some of the snakes out sharks I think I actually might just stay in here it's so hot outside get some aircon going until they chase me out Aquariuses big water so the sharks ended up being about 90 grams so it's like 60 grams, 60 grams of carb, Aquarius, how much is that bang out? Uh, not too much, 15 grams, so I bet it's alright, in an uh, hour to go, another 80 grams left, so it's pretty easy to put that in, and then uh, this should get me home, so, we'll say I'm on the limit, I've uh, cooked it up a bit, but all good, part of the adaptation. How's it boys? And then to end the day off, the wife does the cooking. She gives you a nice rice, egg, avo, and some fresh melon on the side. Top of a tough day. Feel well. This is helps recovery. Ready to go for the next day.